do when you see a buying signal? Well, some salespeople say you're going for the kill. Well, gee, I hope you don't say that, you know. I, I hope that's not in your vocabulary. That's not in your mindset now, you know, going for the kill. That's awful. Um, what you really need to be is in the, the, the mindset of helping this person. So when you see a buying signal, do you simply go and close? Well, let me ask you the question. How frequently can, during a conversation you and I are having together, how frequently can I ask you to make a decision about something before you start to feel pressured? Can I suggest to you, you cannot continuously ask somebody to buy or make a decision without them feeling pressured. You can ask them maybe once, maybe twice. After that, they'll start to feel pressured. Have you ever been with a salesperson who is asking you constantly to go ahead, constantly to make the decision, and you just get sick of it? You think, I really don't need this pressure. So a closing question is possibly not the best thing to do at this point. It asks for a decision. And most people don't ever like to make a decision. It's hard to make a decision because, you know, what if I make the wrong decision? So people will defer on making decisions. And if you're asking them to make a decision, they'll often feel comf un really uncomfortable. There's an alternative to asking for a decision. Well, there is, and we call this a trial close. Now, how is a trial close different to a closing question? Well, I define a trial close as something that we say which asks for an opinion. It simply seeks an opinion. It doesn't seek a decision. It seeks an opinion. Now think about this. If you're not